a new first unboxing and full review of uh, Lemax building. You know that I have the tradition of uh, adding a new Lemax building each season to my Christmas village and each season I choose one building at least from the latest Lemax collection, more precisely, more precisely sorry, the Caddington uh, village collection. In this case, for the first time, you will see the Carolers Cafe, guys. The Carolers Cafe, okay? It is a building from this side, the same building with having a scene inside, and from the back side, exterior lighted building in all the main languages, English, French, uh, Spanish, uh, German, uh, Dutch and Italian, the main European languages. Then Carlos Café, Café des Chanteurs de, de Chant de Noël, uh, Carlos Café, Strassenenger Café, Et Lidesh Café, Il Café dei Cantanti. Very bad translation in some of the uh, other languages. Carlos Café, it's not Il Café dei Cantanti. But <coughs> let's forget, as always, the um, the translators from Lamax. LED 3, uh, 1.5 volts AA battery inside, but you can also use some AC adapter as always. And it, this is item 35024 2023 Lamax Incorporated. Standard box for, from Lamax, red on top with those uh, stripes, uh, stripes on the side and etc. Let's uh, open this for the first time. Okay, inside the classic uh, styrofoam, but this is some strength, this is new, this is less smooth, I can, you can see that it is less smooth than, than normally and you have uh, a different styrofoam box inside i don't know why and also this is not supposed to be like that because they made a mistake these should have been like that and normally you pack those things like that with the lemax on top but they did it like that uh, inside some notice as always and the major products some safety notice instruction and how to get these lighted on okay guys <coughs> the batteries are uh, um, on the lower section and beneath uh, um, under everything and the switch is on one side some notice inside let's open this for the first time top O Lemax 35024. Okay. Inside you have the building. Every time I open a new building, I must find the correct way to pull it out of the styrofoam otherwise i will broke something okay they made it very strange this time this is the carolas cafe guys unbox it for the first time some notice here how to use the ac adapter okay and the ac adapter must be plugged from the back here plus on and off Okay, guys, I don't think the figurines will be moving, but I just noticed something. The figurines are not in scale, guys. Look. Okay. This is a figurine from 2023 collection, and the carolers are smaller. Are some dwarf are some 
little people compared to Lemax standard uh, dimension figurines. Mm. This is not good. This is not good. And okay, the figurines are not resin. They are rubber. Okay. And okay. And this is not a ceramic. This is polyresin. Okay. But anyway, I will use it anyway. The Carolea Cafe. Um, I'm not convinced about the dimension of the carolers here too small guys too small too small let me bring an AC adapter to the scene good guys an AC adapter here okay so many many la many many LED yellow etc and everything else yes even some bright white LED inside. Um, I thought the worst, but I will use this even if the carolers are not in scale. Bad thing this from Lemax. They should have wrote somewhere that the carolers weren't in scale from the from the. Uh, from the, the image, from the packaging, you can't, uh, you can't imagine, you can't guess that the, uh, that the carolers aren't in scale with everything else. Then I must decide if using those carolers or if I will replace them with some uh, taller, okay, taller carolers, okay? But let's continue with the full review, guys. Hi, guys. What you have just seen happened more than two months ago. My bad. But right now, after that first unboxing, it is finally the time of the full review of that building. It is nothing more than item 35024, also known as the Carolers Cafe. It is a lighted building from Lemax or Limax as you may call it. Uh, it is from 2023 Caddington Village collection. So a very recent building, almost fresh building. And uh, you will see one of my usual full review in the next minutes. As you have already seen in the past with other buildings. But there will be a little twist, maybe a medium twist, towards the end of the full review. Because th this particular building has something that bothered me for a very long time, since I bought it. Since the first unboxing you have just seen. But let's do the full review before the twist. Let me take my glasses and let me switch to a full screen like that let me go full screen well this is the full screen of the carolers cafe before going ahead let me precise a couple of things for the first time i shoot all the pictures or the images that will compose the animation that you will see in this review not at plain full brightness uh, but i've dimmered down all the white leds inside the shooting box in order to let you appreciate yes all the features of these buildings the forms the dimensions the colors but also all the leds and all the lights that are composing these buildings because they complete the building and maybe it is a little darker than my other reviews but in this way you will get everything from this building before going ahead let me precise some of the uh, dimension here as always i'm talking about centimeters and inches 
So the dimensions here are 23.5 centimeters in height because it is always the first dimension is always the taller dimension. So 23.5 centimeters or 9.25 inches by 16 centimeters here for the width 16 centimeters or 6.3 inches and then the depth here it is 13.5 centimeters or 5.3 inches uh, let's start by going around a couple of times you can see the right side the back side left side and front side uh, once again another full tour around then i will stop here and i will start as always by the back side this one uh, so this is the back side in its totally beauty <laughs> no, sorry guys um, i'm joking uh, let me first talk about the roof and the canopy on top of the roof. The roof here has some standard horizontal tiles, they are brown tiles and with some snow there and some snow here. And on top of the roof there is a canopy, a little, a little small, little or small uh, canopy with inside a golden bell that is moving not emitting any sound and also an LED inside yellowish LED inside and the roof has also a chimney a great chimney there that it is completed on top of it by this cap that I don't uh, really appreciate very much but uh, they are using some standard cap chimney used with those buildings that are simulating um, uh, smoke, uh, nothing else. That some water that it is heated and that it is some uh, evaporated water coming out of the chimney. But they use the same type of chimney here, even if this building has no um, fake smoke mechanism inside. But they tend to they could have simply removed this red cap here on top and leave the chimney there like that it will be perfect like that and luckily for me and for you this has also snow on the roof why I'm telling this because this building is from Caddington village collection Victorian era village in plain middle of the winter during Christmas uh, holidays. So it is supposed to be cold outside, it is supposed to have snow. If you are in the northern hemisphere, obviously, <laughs> and not uh, right at the equator or in the uh, southern hemisphere. So snow, yes. But many, many other buildings from the same collection, from Keddington Collection, Keddington Village Collection, does not have, they don't have snow on top of the roof. Why? Make all the roofs the same, add snow on top of the roof. But this one has snow. And as I stated during the first unboxing, this is a uh, resin building, uh, plastic building, generally buildings from uh, Caddington Village collection are made from porcelain, made of porcelain, this is not, this is made out of resin, it is a re molded building, a resin molded building, but luckily the walls are not uh, translucent, you can't uh, see light through the walls EPIA guys, because otherwise I don't like, I don't like at all uh, resin buildings because the walls are translucent, but here they have used some strange type of uh, lighting and not very bright inside, so you don't have translucent walls okay 
but be advised that this is not a porcelain building as I stated. The roof is done and here you can see the on top here the LED from this side no but if I'm turn it right there you can see here on top the connection to the rest of the building and the bright yellowish LED Br medium bright not bright bright but medium bright let's go full screen like that let's talk about the back side uh, it is resin but very well molded and designed they even made uh, some correct uh, veins in the wood here some triangles sustaining the roof for the tiles of the roof and some grooves here on the side simulating that this is a plank of wood then another plank of wood then a third plank of wood so very good design those are real holes so the lights can uh, pass through those holes it is not a f it is not a fake wall so the, those are real let me go maybe like that and you can see that those are real holes okay uh, the rest of the wall the rest of the wall is a pure uh, Victorian era building with some woods and some more brick walls uh, painted and uh, covered with some paints uh, bricks are not visible but those were standard way of uh, building the uh, the walls in Victorian time um, as in the the switch there uh, Lemax uh, on off uh, and the hole for the plug of the AC adapter and you can al also use some AA batteries, three of them and the slot for um, putting them in uh, is under the building so you can put the batteries there but I generally prefer using some AC adapters this building does not come with an AC adapter be advised, okay? you will need to purchase it separately at least the version I add doesn't co came with an AC adapter uh, maybe some other country uh, or some other regions in the world have the AC adapter in the mm, in the packaging this one had no uh, AC adapter so I've uh, uh, used one of my AC adapter and connected it with some of my plugs there but those are standard 5.5 uh, uh, by 2.1 millimeters uh, plug that you can find everywhere uh, are sold those Lamax uh, items and I think this is all for this uh, back side because nothing special here from the back and this is standard for, uh, for resin because otherwise you will have a big rounded hole on the back here or even on the base to have the light bulb in but with uh, resin buildings they do that simply because uh, um, um, porcelain buildings needed to go into the oven and if they place the switch there before going into the oven they will destroy the the the, um, the porcelain building but with the resin you mold both sides then you glue them together and you can see here some residual glue they are used they use some um, hot glue gun to, to glue this together from this side here the right side like that and you can see the roof even from this side some snow is visible some part of the canopy with the bell is visible but let's go full screen first half let's say from this point here to the top of the roof once again very well defined uh, wood planks sustaining the roof here you have a cup with inside the same kind of yellow LED use it for the bell it is projecting some lights towards the building and even towards the outside but it is not very bright so it is not reaching more than the half section of the building 
uh, then 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 uh, then uh, yes some a couple of LED stripes in this case you have red green uh, yellow red and once again here and when I shoot these um, uh, when I took these pictures here those four LEDs weren't working uh, but I simply managed to push a little harder on those two connections and now the four LEDs are working perfectly not possible to have a perfectly well designed and well functional um, building from Lemax especially because they are handcrafted not entirely this is a mold or so resin mold and they have applied rebounds and everything else uh, by end uh, post production and uh, what else guys yes some uh, red ribbon as you can see some flowers inside uh, some of these big uh, vase there and if i rotate you can see that the windows are real windows and not fake so they place uh, the some opaque um, transparent but opaque paper against uh, plastic paper against the windows but the lights is getting through is getting through as you can see from the other leds this one is projecting the lights from the side there and you can see through the uh, the light projected by the front side leds so those are real uh, real uh, windows and there are two so another real windows uh, not perfect as always but they are like that uh, some blinds there to shoot the windows uh, once again uh, simulated the wood but those are not moving and then some ribbons you can appreciate that this is unmade simply by taking a look to the two ribbons they don't have the same inclination this one is less inclined than this one they have been placed or glued there after everything else and obviously as this is handcrafted it is not perfect as you can see from this cup here this led here it is oriented a little too much towards the left side it is projecting the lights uh, towards the parlor but maybe yours is per perfectly vertical or maybe bended towards the right those are uncrafted those are finished and finished so some difference may occur from building to building but generally they should have the same input another couple of ribbons and you can see that this one is placed higher than this one once again it was not it is not a perfect this should have been uh, symmetrical but it is not the door here uh, the door is uh, uh, a standard door from Lemax with uh, some painted gold there on the handle uh, and uh, on the other metals and this is a fake window it is a simulated fake window as you can see it is not a real window parlor bar mm, almost a correct uh, font for the for the time for the period uh, this lantern is a real lantern with a real led inside as you can see uh, you also have uh, some <laughs> poor red um, glue getting outside but once again it is an uncrafted not perfect building and led the same you have um, uh, here on top and uh, under the canopy not very bright but the same yellow then this almost good um, tree Christmas tree uh, with and the, you can appreciate it even from the back side with some uh, Christmas balls and they used a perfect uh, reflecting paint so they are reflecting the light correctly and they are uh, silver um, gold blue red and green with some gold ribbon getting all around the, the tree in a spiral way and then on top of it a golden uh, star that is oriented almost towards the front but not perfectly towards the front 
maybe a little towards this side here so 45 degrees and uh, this direction 45 degrees and that's why i don't I, i've said that this is not a perfect um, christmas tree because having the star oriented towards me right now and the star would have been visible from the front side and it is the main side of uh, the building then uh, a standard uh, as you can see a uh, street lamp with some yellow LED inside not bright once again LED and some Mr. of Wrath there on the on the front uh, I think I've said oh and once again good colors uh, some daft white or daft uh, very, very some daft color here for the walls some brown uh, and then red green uh, pure Christmas colors and then some uh, footsteps there to get access to the parlor bar from the other side the left side of the building same configuration the chimney here is visible in this case uh, the uh, I think all the LED were working yes don't uh, you may get the impression that this LED is not working from this side the, those are working but if you orient it correctly like that you can see that all the LEDs are working from this side it's just the way the this picture has been taken same uh, thing as before rear windows up to this point here they are symmetrical from this side and from the other side with led and this one it is oriented toward me towards the viewer and uh, towards the right oops sorry uh, another led there you can see that it is projecting the light towards the wall should have been a little more towards the outside and able to project a more uh, large cone of light and even reaching some of the floor the real difference is here you have no lantern on the side of the door and no little uh, windows there the, the windows that you have the simulator windows and you don't have these uh, lantern there but you have a mini window a little window but this is a fake window it is not a see-through window you can see through this window and okay and some blinds there uh, i uh, like more i like more those ones more defined but it is uh, uh, this way and red ribbons there and red ribbons here on the same on the same level and this time uh, almost the same level and here yes a little more precise than the other side but once again not at the same level the two ribbons this one is uh, more horizontal this one is more inclined but as always there is not one building similar to the other not one copy of this building will be uh, similar or Mm, exact the same as another copy of this building let's go towards the front side here let's talk about the top once again one other uh, LED strip there they are not very bright they are not projecting but they make this uh, building more attractive okay some uh, LED this is the only one correctly oriented a little more towards the outside and then almost a vertical there it is the only one that uh, is going where it, it is supposed to go uh, the light you can see and appreciate that the light it is uh, symmetrical towards the right and towards the left this main wall here it is larger obviously so it has uh, two windows same shape as those one and once again uh, the they are seen through okay you can see through even if you have uh, some opaque plastic uh, as uh, as glass front once again so nothing special there the scene and there it's something 
start the interesting part. Carolers Cafe Saint Post established 1824. I think that those characters there, the fonts used for those characters, e, e, the font, not the fonts, sorry, is a little too German font instead of a Victorian font, but the period, the Victorian era, is almost the same, but maybe too, too German, too German. Those ones are less German, but th those ones are too German shaped characters instead of uh, Victorian uh, era uh, font characters. Okay, but this is a very good looking uh, signpost, it brings life to the front of the buildings white and black on uh, red. Um, on red are perfect they, are, they can be seen from the distance even from two three meters they attract the attention of the viewer so a good choice of colors there in general all the building has good colors from every side the interior scene you have a couple of a set of tables uh, <coughs> this one has a cup of uh, hot coffee or hot coca on top of it and some biscuits or some french patisserie on top of it you can see legs of the of the table and the two ladies or maybe a lady and his husband are seated on a couple of uh, of chairs of um, of uh, victorian era chairs uh, and here on the uh, on the left here you have some strange thing I think this is something used even if it is against the wall um, used by Metro Hotel the um, head waiter to take uh, reservation and to let accommodate people towards this table or to the other table but I only suppose it is that because otherwise I don't know what this could be uh, something to place some some dishes I don't know uh, it is not precise so I can be sure of it I, I, I'm supposing that or even something to place the books of the carers but every carers has his proper book with him or with her uh, to, to to use so I don't I don't really know what it is this a couple of uh, real functioning lanterns on the left and on the side of the building then the back wall there a chandelier uh, a painted chandelier these are obviously some printed uh, a sheet of paper okay printed paper there with some clock there another lantern there a glass there and a painting on the wall then maybe you can see that on the side you have some two fake uh, doors one from each side and one other fake window there painted one here and one there essentially to access the rest of the building the back of the building surely there let's talk about the table this one here you can see that they just use it half section of the tray that is covering the table come on come on uh, the point of view can even be seen from the side why just using that it, it is similar to uh, uh, to something used in the desert to cover your head like that I don't like it and even the other tables suffer from the same let's go like that from the same thing this table has nothing on top of it the two chairs are empty there obviously because you have the carolers in front of it and this is the scene please also notice that the faces are not well defined this one seems to uh, to be sleeping because it has his eyes closed and maybe even snow <laughs> snoring or maybe they are just singing the same uh, carol as the four carolers there but the ants maybe they have uh, some 
something on their hands, I don't know, but they aren't very well defined. Those are very tiny figurines, and I will come to that in just some minutes. But for sure it is the building that it is the main attraction, but come on, let's do some better work on the carolers there. Let's talk about the four carolers here. This is a standard Lamax or Limax street lamp, plastic obviously, LED inside, mist of red. You can also buy them separately in every Lamax uh, store, okay? But those lamps are supposed to be in scale with the buildings, yes. And the carolers are not supposed to be in scale with the buildings and with the street lamps. But in this case, those carolers are in scale with the building and the street lamp. It is obvious if you take a look there, the eight of the carolers fit perfectly under the door. Generally, not one single other figurine from Lamax fit under a door, a doorway. They are always taller than the doors, than the doorway. It is like that. It is to get a more importance to the figurines than the buildings or to get the same importance to the figurines in front of the buildings. This carolan here, the hat and the head, should be at least at the same height of these wreath there, of these mistletoe wreath there. But it's not the case, and please look at the, the eyes. Or they are all looking at the same time at the lyrics on their books, revising their lyrics because they don't know their lyrics, but at the same time all of them, not one of them knows their lyrics, uh, or maybe they are all sleeping, and but they, are, they have no pupil, they are, <laughs> their eyelids are completely closed. And this one here, it seems having some lipsticks around, lipstick around, the, around his lips. Not very well defined and not very well precise. And the bays there are useless. The bays are used in, for the figurines to support them if th they are not connected to anything else, otherwise the the surface is too thin and the figurines tend to 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 fall down but if you place some figurines on top of something else and you glue them to something else you don't need the bases they are useless they are even ruining the point of view another thing i don't get all the problems for this building are one, two, three, four guys, maybe those two, but not really because they are not in front side, in plain side, they are in the back of the scene. So the main scene is the building and then the four colors there. They are not in scale with other figurines from Lamax. So, or you use this building as it is, and you don't place anything else around it. We don't place another building. Yes, another building, yes. But you don't place any other figurines in proximity of this building. Or otherwise, it is a plain waste. And it is a nonsense to have such little figurines there. I know I'm very bad with Lemax right now, but... I always tend to do my full reviews and try to be as honest as I can and not be 
from any side. It is a, a common sense to not do such bad things, to not do such errors when building, when, when um, projecting, when uh, developing such buildings. This is not the first year they do something. It is more than <laughs> more than thirty years they are doing. More than forty years they are doing this. So no, the, this is a no from me. Maybe it is also a no for many other people that have noticed the same thing. It is a pity because otherwise this building could have been a perfect, almost perfect, not as perfect as uh, uh, Norma's Christmas boutique but this could have been a very good looking a very good looking building and if you are mm, judging uh, you don't have enough eight there to place some uh, normal eight uh, figurines mm. the head going there yes you have the space yes you have the space but for being more precise, and I think I made all the tour of this building, you have seen everything, maybe I left something, but I don't think so, you have seen everything for, for this building. Let me do a little trick there. Let me compare this building with some real figurines. Th 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 they are also real, those four, but not not the same thing so guys what you have here the same exact building should uh, not uh, shoot in plain bright light this time uh, with all the uh, shooting box uh, uh, LED uh, at maximum power and uh, the building is not a switch on uh, and this is another shooting guys okay you can appreciate the plain bright light colors there but what I did there I placed some carolers from Lemax and those carolers are real Lemax carolers they are from uh, set n item number 72403 from 2007 from 2007 if I'm correct, those are maybe called Harmony Carolers or something like that. It is too old for remembering. Uh, and I place uh, them in front of the building. Not even on the platform there, not even at the same height, but I placed it on ground level like that. And you can see the disproportion there. Those two carolers there won't absolutely fit under the doorway there. And it is like that, always been like that. Okay? Those carolers are taller. Or these four guys here are four children disguised as carolers, but I don't think so, guys, because Lemax do children's in some other ways. Or maybe they are little guys, very little guys, very uh, dwarves. Maybe they are from Lord of the Rings, I don't know, but they it can be like that and even from the side yes this is a defect from for these figurines it has always been like that this set here this is one of my original sets and it is a little too much inclined towards the back uh, and these figurines always suffered from it, it always has need some double sided tape to stand properly vertical otherwise yeah, it falls down but it's not the case here we are not talking about those figurines I'm talking about the dimensions and with those two here I'm not disturbed by having some uh, little smaller uh, figurines behind them against the wall there near the wall because they are not the focus they are the colors 
and those two colors are defined the hands the gloves the hands the face the eyebrows the the beard the mustache the hairs very well because this scale here is more suitable to be painted correctly and this is a rigid resin for those two figurines those other fours are in rubber the building is resin but this is more rubber more difficult to rubber or soft resin very very soft resin impossible to mold them perfectly due to their uh, elastic composition elastic if it is plastic no more elastic it's when something tends to bend or something tends to get longer or shorter impossible to have precise definition rubber doesn't get very precise defined but those two counters are better suited as dimension for these and take a look to this eight here from the from the shoe there to the head it will fit there and also there and also there so why Lemax have not used real carolers by real those four are also real but real dimensioned carolers in this at the same scale of other figurines and other carolers big question impossible no it is very well possible as what you will see in just some seconds switch it off let me get back to the main camera here guys and i'm once again here guys let me take the color as you have just seen guys this is a, the set i bought as a replacement for what you will see this is a new set I replace it I bought it after modifying what the building I remove it guys the four little guys and you may see how little they are and that they are bendable because this is not poly resin hard poly resin but this is a rubber resin so they are bendable like that the head and the and everything else is bendable hope you have seen them correctly i will switch to the building and with other focus and i still have all of four of them with me you can see but let me get a little closer let me show you now the building and guys let me just place it correctly in front of the camera i correct the focus right now let me get it like that okay i will take my glasses with me uh loop like that okay in front of me focus like that it is in perfect focus like now four carolers the ones that you are you are seeing oops in the back there and sorry i'm working specular from the camera let me take a pen like that the four you are seeing there in the back four one two three and four and then the back that are on the table are not in front view so i'm not deranged by them but now with the four of them one two three and four and guys they are from this set here guys okay this is the exact same copy of the same okay but they fit there guys they absolutely fit there okay uh, it's my face that is disturbing the focus they are absolutely fitting there and you can see that the green, the blue one there is getting his hat precisely at the same rate of the breed as they should be. I removed the bases. I trimmed the bases with my Dremel with a rotary tool. They have no bases and they sweat very well there, guys. They sweat absolutely perfect there. All four of them 
obviously uh, I used the, the shortest lady to not uh, the green lady to not be if I would have used the uh, red ladies or one of the guys the established 1824 would have been uh, covered by one of the figurines but in this case they are not covered I modified this building is no more car no it's still Carlos cafe but modified and for me it is better like that okay for me it is better now it has the same aid and maybe those on the back there may be considered as a children on the back on the table and they are not disturbing because the focus is attracted by the four carolers in front of the building there Dizzy would have been a better solution for these guys obviously I will need to repaint this original kit with some other colors because I don't want the same figurines but it's not a problem to repaint them and this is a good looking with good looking carolers in front of it so guys let me remain myself in focus uh, little going uh, there uh, up and there with all the all, all, all the things i've shown you right now but the last building you have seen is the same building modified not just modified upgraded or as it should have been from the beginning guys lamax it's nothing more than thinking about what you are doing please sorry i'm always like that but i'm always trying to tell you the truth or to point out what it should be the not the absolute truth because i'm not i i'm i'm i've not be given by <laughs> pure truth but for me now it is good and i know there are plenty of you that have noticed there and decided not to buy this building but with a simple manipulation you can uh, replace the figurines and they are not damaged those ones i can reuse them from some other things they simply use the sum uh, let me get towards in focus but it is some uh, some glue there so i've used the same glue i've used the some epoxy glue to glue them to the building that's all for this full review, a very long full review, but I had to do it like that. Thank you for, for being there, guys. Bye.